So hydrogen is the most common element in the universe. It's very simple, one proton, one electron. They're bound together by their opposite charges, and they can be broken apart by ultraviolet light. Because the proton and electron are little magnets, they also interact electromagnetically, and they can store energy in that interaction and release radio waves or absorb radio waves. About 400,000 years after the Big Bang, about 13.7 billion years ago, when the universe had cooled to a few thousand degrees, there was hydrogen and helium throughout all of space, but no stars and no galaxies. The gravitational attraction of slightly more dense regions pulled in some matter, and then more, and then more, and the densest regions were then able to form stars and the seeds of the first galaxies. Those galaxies are exceedingly faint. They stretch the limits of our most powerful telescopes. But the ultraviolet light from their stars left a very important signature. It broke apart the hydrogen in the spaces around the galaxies, leaving a pattern of holes around them. Today, I and my colleagues are constructing a sensitive telescope in South Africa, far from man-made radio sources, to see the radio light from that hydrogen in between galaxies. By mapping the location and the frequency of those radio waves coming from hydrogen, we can see where the hydrogen is, and by knowing where it isn't, find just where and when in the history of the universe those first galaxies formed. Thank you. <laughs>